Hey guys, I'm Captain Mitchell Duggar from Key West, Florida. I'm down here in Southern California to put together a series of fly casting videos to help some clients of mine. I'm going to be covering everything from the basics to troubleshooting for the more advanced caster. Hope you enjoy. starting to get back into some of those bad habits and getting a little bit sloppy in with your back cast and it's just really laying down flat and then sometimes you're kind of overcompensating about bringing it back in here. Remember, even though that we've opened this cast up, we've opened your shoulders up to the cast, you still have to come up here and I think maybe what happened is you hit that pole a couple times and so that got that. in your head and so now it's bringing it back in. It's not gonna hurt anything and honestly, you probably shouldn't be shooting all the way over there if you need to back up a step or two, I think we're fine there, just so that way it's not in your head anymore. But don't try to compensate not hitting that by doing something bad, okay? Higher. Better, buddy, better. Let's get that rod tip up a little higher in that back though, okay? Deliver to a spot three feet above the water, not to the water. Lance, a lot of times when we're correcting problems, we end up kind of creating some. Make sure that when you're trying to keep that rod tip elevated, remember a lot of it has to do necessarily with the angle of the cast. Some of it does have to do with the physical distance above the cast or above the ground, okay? So you're having a tendency sometimes to kind of drop it down. You're overcompensating by by lifting your arm in your cast. And so on that last one, you're way up here and that's just only gonna hurt your shoulder, right? So when that back cast comes back, let me show you real quick. When that thing comes back, you know, we're trying to keep this poking there. I'm oh, sorry, I got caught in the grass there. So poking up there, keeping that thing elevated going forward. You're having a tendency to do two things. One, either coming too far back around behind and laying this thing flat. And so when we talked about that, your way to compensate for that was to bring this arm up here. Yeah. And so now you're doing something, you know, kind of kind of worse and weird and probably even worse on your shoulder there. So yeah. just keep in mind that in this instance, the higher the rod angle does have to do with the physical distance above the ground or the water, but you're still gonna come back and poke there before you shoot forward there. Let's give that a couple more and then we'll take just a five minute break because the rod is quite a bit heavier today.